welcome to Ritual Scale Modeling. This is part 6 of Hair Fixes Blackburn Buccaneer S2C. Scale is 172. In this part I'll be finishing off all the remaining aspects of the build and uh, building uh, a little base for it as well. So let's jump into this and see how well I get on. Starting off with painting the canopy and I'm using Humbro 93 Desert Yellow for the um, uh, initial uh, markings. Now, if you've watched my videos before with canopies, and that you'll, you'll know I generally do this freehand, and um, I have okay results. This time, I, I didn't have good results. I didn't really notice until I um, put the canopy on. The, the paint on the canopy was clumsy at best, I would say, um, but it, to be fair, it goes in fitting with the model anyway. So there's another one of my mistakes. Um, this particular one, I just uh, didn't pay attention. Um, I, I think I was still thinking about the gap in the issue and uh, things like that. But there you go. Uh, I done it, I made a mistake, and I didn't find it in time to rectify it. And once the border colour was dry, it was a 1, 2, 3 extra dark C, grey. Uh, by Humbro and um, it's a same process again freehanding the canopy and um, just painting up to the um, desert sand um, border colour. Now this line actually got quite done quite well it was mostly the curve on the main canopy that, um, that is not as sharp as it should be. Going back to the wings and it's Revo Aquacolor 90 Silver and this is for the probe that sits on the wing. So after a few hours the decals are dry, I can now place on the um, weapon system. Each one has its own little uh, location points. I should have said um, I did drill uh, some uh, little holes uh, for this uh, to set into. Each one has uh, markings on the in inner part of the wing so that you know which one you have to drill. So the um, probes are going on now. Now normally I wouldn't fit all this on the wing until the wings actually been uh, placed in a position. Because these wings are folded it was better to um, fit them now. So I'm just touching up a little bit of paintwork as I go. The centre of square part here is getting painted in Umbro's 93 Desert Yellow. And that's the same colour I used on the canopy. Now I'm using Formula 560 canopy glue. And I'm using this in instead of the clear plastic part that they have for it. So this will form a dome of uh, a clear dome um, sheath as such um, over the area instead of putting in the plastic part. The, the, the little clear part is tiny and uh, I find it difficult to place on so it's either just doing it this way. So now I'm fitting the canopy and I had trouble fitting this uh, as well. Um, I suspect that I didn't fit the front part, which I'm doing now, in the proper position. I think I pushed it too far uh, back into the canopy. I think it should have been brought a little bit uh, forward. But while that's drying, I'm just putting on the uh, end tips of the wings. These are clear parts, so I'm not sure why they're clear parts, but they are. And they just fit inside the recess of the actual wing. And now I can fit the uh, second part of the canopy. Um, as I said, I never quite got the fitting correct on this. But I mean, it, it looks alright, but I, it just bugs me that I didn't get it in the proper position. So now I'm just tidying up a bit of paperwork before I place on the wing. And painting the uh, clear part in, in the 123 extra dark sea grey by Humbro. Next I'm taking some Tamiya's 5mm masking tape for curves and just putting it around the, the border of the air intakes, getting that ready for painting. And I'm using 90 silver by Revel Aquacolor once again to paint the, um, the, the border parts of the air and I'm using the same colour to paint along the flashes of the wing edge. So as you can see again I'm just freehanding this, I'm not bothering to use 
masking tape on this part because the actual uh, working line is quite defined so it's easy to work against. I had the tiniest amount of paint bleed so I'm just correcting that. So now it's time to actually put on the uh, wings. Now you see the bracket here that uh, leans into the um, aircraft. This is quite important for the folding appearance. The there is location points within the brackets that I place on the tips of the wings for this to sit into. It is important that they sit all the way down onto the actual frame itself, or they will easily snap off. But um, they do sit in there very well. That there is um, a little adjoining pieces that are on the bracket, which have uh, sit into little housings are as you go along the wing. So it is secure enough but you do have to be careful and you may have to manipulate it a little bit for it to um, contact the entire uh, wing route. Moving on to the decals. Um, I've got all the decals out and uh, ready to be plus on one. In actual fact I'm not putting all the decals onto this uh, plane. Most of the little stenciling decals I've missed out but the main decals are going on. Um, the decals are going on in the usual way. I'm using some Microsoft as my agent to uh, place the decals on. I didn't actually have any issues with the placement of the decals. They, they went on nice and smooth. Um, that's one of the advantages of vanishing your kit before putting on the decals. I, I didn't show it on the video but um, after I painted it I did uh, give it a coat of varnish before placing the decals on. That's um, essential when you're building uh, and you're placing decals. It gives them more area to grip and the film doesn't show up within the decal as well of course. Onto the base. What I have here is a, a piece of A4 sized uh, uh, ply board and um, I'm just going to be painting this um, as a base uh, for the uh, Buccaneer. First of all I want a yellow border. So I'm just using some yellow acrylic paint here. Now this paint you can get it from any artist shop or um, online. It, the camera's gone blurry there for some reason, I don't know why. But um, there it is, it's back into focus again. So I, I'm, I'm just um, applying this uh, paint all over the board. And once that's dried, I'm just taking my ruler and I'm going to be marking a border around the actual uh, board itself. Now you, you'll notice that the yellow is slightly lighter in the middle. That's because I really didn't have to paint that part yellow. Um, I just wanted the actual border painted. But I painted the entire board to make sure that um, I was going to have enough yellow coming through um, in the areas I wanted it to come through on. And I'll take in time here 6mm masking tape and I'm just going to be uh, laying a strip down of this up to my pencil line um, markings to give me the um, border that I wish. And once it's off I'm taking um, a sharp knife and I'm just cutting off the ends so it's um, all nice and lined up and there's no excess tape coming over onto the um, other areas of the border. I've got to mix a colour here so I've got some uh, black paint first of all and then some white paint and then some silver and I'll just mix all that up to the colour I want and I'm looking for a sort of grey metallic -y sort of look here and once I'm happy with it I'll paint the entire board with this colour uh, being careful over the masking tape so that I don't lift up the masking tape while I'm painting so I'm just going to lift off the masking tape now that everything is dry and this is where I'm going to end the, the video here. Um, this is the bill complete uh, as well and of course the final reveal will be in the next video. So as you can see there I'm just peeling off the masking tape and um, this will give me the yellow border that I'm after. So if you haven't done so already why don't you check out the channel for my other builds. There's quite a lot of stuff on there and um, you may find something that interests you. If not just let me know and um, uh, maybe want to build something that you you have an interest in. Uh, there's no harm in asking, you never know. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. 
um, that way you'll be kept up to date especially if you hit the notification bell and um, yeah, then you'll be notified of any new videos I put up on the channel so that will be for this build any up common builds uh, and of course any builds I've got on at any particular moment so all that's left to say is hit that like button leave a comment don't forget to share the video but most of all thank you all very much for watching this build didn't go as planned but I hope you enjoyed it anyway so for now bye bye